Time now for round two of Coffee Talk. Kent and Paige, how stressed are you two feeling? Um, Always stressed. Paige, I don't believe is stressed. No. I don't think she has a stressful moment. That's no. great. No worries. No, no, no problem. But you are a very calm and collected, and, and you know, it may be stewing inside. <laughs> I was going to say, I fooled them. <laughs> I think it's that thing yeah, that you just said. All right, let me ask this. Would you say you're more stressed than before the pandemic or yes. less stressed? Yes, more. Me too. I think so too. What about you? Mm-hmm. About the same? Yeah, I, see, I don't know that I could differentiate. Okay. Always do I it. I thought you were going to say, I don't know that I could be more stressed <laughs> right. than I was before. Well, surprisingly, more people say they are less stressed out now. Oh, good. At least that's what a recent poll by Gallup, Inc. uncovered. They've been asking the same question for the past 18 years, and this year the answer is actually a positive one. Wow. Global stress levels were recorded at 37%, which they say is the lowest since 2019. How do you put a percent? I don't know. Global stress. I don't, do you just say, are you or aren't you? I don't know. Just over the day, uh, just over the day prior to the survey, 85% of the respondents said that they had been treated with respect. Oh, what does that mean? 71, well, it makes you less stressed, I guess. 71% said they were well rested. 73% said they had felt a lot of enjoyment or had smiled and laughed. America finished in the middle of the pack overall with an average score of 73, which is higher than the global average. Maybe people were so stressed during the height of the pandemic that relatively anything better. it feels like at least better this is better, better than that. that. <laughs> no, that I mean that's a good point. Yeah. You know. And I and I think it's great if if you're all uh, less stressed than you have been in the past, it'd be great if you quit stressing me out. <laughs> I don't, is well, that asking too much? I don't think so. I think right. that's very fair. All right, Matt and Paige, yes. Uh-oh. Put you on the spot now. How early before your shifts? Oh, this is great because we did. We just. All right. How early before your shift starts do you arrive? Is the boss watching right now? Yeah. Or I don't think it's any of his conversation business. between us girls. Well, that de- for <laughs> me, that depends a lot on whether or not I can account for everyone in my home before I leave. It <laughs> and I can't even get Which this into morning that. I couldn't. Somebody was missing. <laughs> his wife went so out. And it's fine. We night. don't need to share all this sort of detail. <laughs> For me, depends if, if, if I have to clean up after the dog. Right. Yeah. Getting sick at Slow 3 a.m. Uh, yeah. So to, don't count our time clock. I today. didn't have anything like that go no. on in my life. <laughs> uh, and I'm I. Would you say I tend to push it a little bit? I, well, you're. I don't know what time you're supposed to be here, but I can tell you, you get here at about the same time. Every I day. am right. I, I, I am, consistent. and I leave at the same time every yeah, day. Yeah. Okay. And and the difference between yesterday and today is usually traffic yes. more often than not right because right. i come in and now i'm dealing with it which i never did before